What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Simon Tech once again, and uh, I picked up a new project, and I figured I would document uh, getting it all set up. My gimbal's dead, though, so excuse the initial footage, but this is a 1995 XR250R, and uh, it wasn't running, and I picked it up for 250 US dollars a little bit ago, and we're gonna try to get it up and running. I already checked Spark, and we have Spark, so we're good there checked compression and we have compression. So the last thing we need to check is gonna be, of course, fueling. So I pulled the carburetor off. These XRs put uh, the canister here for the rear shock like right in the way. So you gotta pull it off to get it out. And you can see we got it pulled out there. And it's over here. I've already taken it apart. And both jets, the main jet and the idle jet were clogged up. The slide, see how it has all that residue? I left it on there. It was stuck. So there's a whole bunch of residue on the needle as well. Um, the bowl's pretty dirty. So basically with all the ethanol and the fuel, if you leave these things sit at all, they just get gummed up. So I think we're in pretty good shape. I think we're gonna get ourselves a nice cheap uh, XR250R here. And they're really hard to find these days. Um, things, other things wrong with it. The odometer's missing. Uh, the front headlight has ripped out wiring and uh, as far as the chain and sprocket are rusted up so I do have a chain and sprocket replacement tires are like holy moly new so uh, both the front and rear the front is flat um, but I'm not sure if we just I probably needs a new tube but we'll see uh, fork seals are not leaking I already pulled the boots up earlier but let's see if we can pull this up further excuse the bad camera work yeah these are you see the fork seals are dirty but they're not leaking best i can tell uh if they are though we we have everything we need i think we even have a 41 millimeter uh fork seal driver in there so we could drive some new ones if we had to i don't think we will though right now i do want to get some new fork uh fork guards though it's funny they put fork guards these do not go here and they just zip them on this one's okay this one makes sense i guess because you got the front disc guard on there um this one over here makes makes absolutely no sense usually you know for some like inverted forks people run those fork guards <laughs> not needed on this one <laughs> at least not in that place i'd rather get the full-on boots too red ones that would be sick i think that would look really good uh this rear fender is some uh aftermarket universal fender probably find a better one and then uh we kind of power wash the tank down all this black stuff was all over it and we got it pretty clean on the outside but we're gonna have to use a magic eraser or something to get rid of the rest or just some bleach bleach used to work got quite a bit of rust on the frame but i'm gonna get it running before we do anything there it does come with the skid guard which is nice and everything else is pretty original so that's kind of about it we're gonna get the carburetor over here um, cleaned up and then we'll see if we can get started See you guys later. So, let's see. All right, we got this all going now. Hopefully my gimbal will charge here soon. Um, we're about to dump this into some parts cleaner. A big note about that is if you're gonna use like a soaking parts cleaner, which I'll show you, I picked it up from Advanced. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is make sure you get rid of all the O-rings and gaskets, because that'll get dissolved. Now we do have a kit so we can replace it, of course. Um, so it wouldn't be as big of a deal, but that parts cleaner will eat everything away. The most important thing you wanna pull out is gonna be the accelerator pump because this kit doesn't come with the, uh, the accelerator pump replacement in it. Um, this one's a little hard. We'll Vaseline it up and hopefully we'll be okay. Um, we'll have to see. Let me get this soak in. It looks like the rest of the parts in the kit will match. I'm not sure what that big O-ring's for though, so I need to find that. Um, we didn't pull out a big O-ring now that I'm looking at it, did we? 
Oh, so we might want to look up a diagram. We got, oh, okay, that's pretty easy. This is going to be on the bowl drain right here. So we'll pop this off and there'll be a big, another O-ring under there and I'll pull that out before we throw it in the parts cleaner. The parts cleaner we got is just gunk. Get rid of the gunk. And you can usually soak it for like 20 minutes and be good to go. So I'm gonna get that going and I'll let you guys know how everything went. I wanna show you guys a quick little trick I learned a while ago. So it came out pretty clean. It's hard to tell because I have bad lighting in the garage, but um, everything's pretty clean. All the air pathways seem to be pretty clean as well. Uh, what we're gonna do now is polish the needle seat, which is right here, the float needle seat. And a way you can do that, it's pretty easy, is to just get some Q-tips. And um, I don't remember where I learned this. I learned this a long time ago. So you can just get a Q-tip and then clip the end off. I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but um, if you just take the end, clip one end off, drop it on the ground, and then you can put it in the tip of a drill and then just polish the seat. Basically, it'll go in here. Now, I do, if at all possible, see all that gunk that already came off of it? Um, I do like to clean it a couple times and then I like to polish it with like a metal polisher. Um, I think Mother's has some. I'm out and uh, because of the current situation going on, I'm not gonna go get any because uh, of COVID, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and polish this seat and then we're gonna put the car back together and get it in the bike. <sighs> yeah. So anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. You see how it's not quite sitting in there, the, the O-ring, and that's pretty common. Um, to help with that, you can either use some Vaseline or grease. I have a grease gun here. I say that, um, but I'm gonna have to get some out. Maybe I'm out of grease. Yeah, I'm out of grease in there. Okay, that's okay. I got a whole package over here. One second. Do, 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 do. Bam. <laughs> Speed boot. Okay, so this is actually joint grease. Um, I'd rather have some Vaseline, but this will uh, this will do it. So if I cut this open here, then let's see if I can get a good get a good look. All right, that'll work. So what you'll do is get a little bit of grease. This is gonna be nasty too. And you can just line it. Ooh, this is a, uh, I mean, this will work, but don't really want it in the bowl either. Vaseline's much better. There we go. And then this will hold it in place like that. And that'll make it easier to put on. So another little quick tip and trick for you guys that I used to use. Then we're good to go. So I already replaced the jets. Ooh. 
And I did two turns out. I haven't looked at what it's supposed to be necessarily yet. Um, the accelerator pump looked like it might be a problem, unfortunately. So we may have some quick rev issues. It was kind of worn down and coming apart. Uh, like someone had sprayed it with carb cleaner. And that's a possibility because someone might have tried to fix this already. And uh, the jets were clogged. Main and pilot jet were all clogged up. All right. So that's going to do it for us there. We'll get the rest of this together. And I'll see you guys in a bit. Carburetors back together. Nice and clean. Everything's functioning properly. Like I said, I am worried about the accelerator valve, but accelerator pump, excuse me. Hopefully we can uh, figure that out. I got some fuel line from the auto parts store and this fuel filter came just from there as well. It's a little big, but um, it, it should be okay for, for now at least. So we're gonna get this hooked up, get it reinstalled onto the bike and then see if she runs. Alrighty boys, so we got her running, which is awesome. A uh, few notes though, is that we are missing a couple things in that carb kit, and I've ordered another one that has the pieces we need, specifically the accelerator pump uh, was out. It looks like it got hit with some carburetor cleaner, but, um, cause it's kind of just, the black was coming right off on my fingers. Um, but we had removed it before we put it in the parts cleaner, so we didn't do it. I don't know if that happened previously or something. It tried to clean it up with some Dawn dish soap and uh, it didn't help because basically it's down to the little film. But we're gonna put this together. It looks like I got a buddy here that's gonna pick up a computer. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I also set up a website, xr250rmods.com to kind of document everything. I will catch you later.